When I was young, my brother and I built a boat with our father. We spent several years sailing and exploring the Patuxent River. And then I met Tony. Peter and I spent many happy times on that boat. And so when we got married, we built a larger boat and ventured out into the Chesapeake Bay and its many rivers. We crewed on larger boats with dreams of sailing the world, but then life took another turn. Today, we look forward to retirement with dreams of leaving it all behind. Come join us on our journey to sail the seas. Are you excited, Peter? Yes, Annapolis Boat Show 2022. I forget how many boat shows this is for me. I lost count. This is the second one recently for me. Yes. I went I, a long time ago, but I don't remember it. There's supposed to be a sea wind with the Ford cushions, and that's what I'm excited about. Me I like, too. I like to sit on those Ford cushions and see if they're, how comfortable they are, how durable they are, and where people store them. And then I like to hit up the tents. Maybe to take a look at another boats, aspects of boats anyway. It must be a nice day. I hope those clouds go away because I took the, my rain gear out of my backpack. They're getting better. I'm starting to see blue. Oh my. Everybody trying to get to the boat show in a hurry. Story of my life, waiting on Tony. I don't know what I want today to wear. I think that'll be good. Annapolis Boat Show, baby. Come on, don't stop, no pause. You got a break. Looks good. We're at Pusses eating our traditional boat show breakfast. How you doing? What are we? What are we? What are we? We're first in line. We're first in line. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for 10 o'clock, another half hour. <clears throat> Stay up with me. Why are all these people in my way? Somebody's always in my way. I have no patience. I study the boat show map and plan my routes accordingly. It gets crowded early and we wanted to hit the sea wind tent before the crowd started. We have to get our traditional snapshot. Ah, she's coming into view now. The most beautiful boat in the entire boat show, the Sea Wind 1260. This is Amy Ola. How you doing, man? Good, good. Welcome <laughs> We're gonna check out the Ford cushions. Uh, well, we picked it, but we we don't know where they store. Where do you store those? Store oh, the, the those? Ford cushions. Um, usually we'll end up storing them um, um, in the aft cabin there. Um, or usually, you know, most of the time when you're on the boat using the boat, they're out. You know, sometimes when we leave the boat for an extended amount of time, we'll, we'll kind of store them underneath this table here. Are they sec are they secure? If rough weather, would, would you take them off or would they blow uh, away? I, I think you could probably keep them in and on rough weather. They, they're, the, the snaps are pretty, pretty. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to check them out. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. 
<laughs> what do you think? I say they're nice, but I need a pillow behind me because I have short legs. But this is nice. <clears throat> Nice. These are comfortable, you know? Now, you know, with the hard fiberglass, it was a little bit of a problem. They will be a little bit bigger on a 1260. You see this? Though? What? If you're short legged, it's not like yeah, you can sit up. Standard. Yeah, they'll be a little bit bigger on a 1260. But you could if you brought a pillow out. It's on the track. What? It's on the track. Yeah. So the back seems to be pretty secured. And these are probably just snapped down. Yeah, these are snapped down. Well, it wouldn't be so bad to sail it, you know, it's only when all hell breaks loose that I think you would have to take them up and pack them up, you know? Yeah. The 60 has bigger, uh, <clears throat> I think they're nice. You like them? I guess you wouldn't leave them out in the leather. But if they're leather, they could be. What are your thoughts? I like them. Keep? I, yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I, I'm short legged, so there's space here. So I mean, you can, you can lean back like this or whatever. It's comfortable sitting this way, like this. Way. That's comfortable. <clears throat> this is my favorite spot. <laughs> It's got a nice look to it. It definitely add maintenance. It does get a little hot too, you know. Yep. Some some people complain about on you know really Your sunny feet. days, you know, those kind of corner pieces can get really hot. a little hot. Me personally, what I would do is I would do the EVA foam decking and then uh, you know you can have a company come out, they just kind of do a little uh, a radar or some kind of scan of it and then they get the perfect shape and then they laser cut it and then you, you does can it just lay there or does yeah it... so if you guys haven't um, been aboard the um, vision triple four um, they have the EVA foam decking on there um, so it feels like you're just wearing flip-flops everywhere you work um, wait where's that over there oh I yeah. see I see the boom yeah yeah go check out the EVA foam decking on that because one really cool thing about that, it's a lot cheaper than the, the Flexi Teak, but it also will protect your, your floors, you know, if you're doing any work and you accidentally drop a screwdriver or something like that. That's true. You know, you can, you can, you know, use it for five years. It will get a little worn out. It's a little harder to clean than, you know, your just normal. But, you know, you can refresh it in five years and it looks like your four floors brand are brand new. Yeah. So that's... So that, that tree, right? About. Or maybe they got different... No, it's a cockpit. But what's this? Oh, it's maybe it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's really soft. I like that. This Vision had the EVA foam decking, the non-skid. While it felt quite comfortable on your feet, I'm not convinced that I would want this on my boat. I'll put a link in the description for those that might be interested in more information. Tony and I did not like the helm on the Vision. While these winches were electric, if you ever had to use them manually, they would have been very difficult to position yourself over for cranking. I don't like the clear plastic. It fades and clouds up over time and rots. And from this helm position, you had a great view to the starboard, but you had no view to port once the foresail was raised. We need to reach just to take the lines off. Yeah. I, I, I don't like it. 
Is this an elevated hill? Step out. This is really well, I guess it is. It is when you look at the other side. Oh, from there. Yeah. When we come around here. Here's mm -hmm. what this is. I guess it keeps water from the other side. Look these stairs. Can we use it? That's what we need. Yeah. That would be perfect for me. These are for your winches, so I guess you don't have to reach them when the electric winches are working. Yeah, nice. That's nice. Hey, give me a drink. You have pretty pictures. This is nice. Make it so easy. It's rough. Too kind of far apart. Rough seems to be like this. Bracing yourself on the heart. But, you know, what is this? 45 foot? 45 foot's on the precipice or on the verge of making galley up or not. But this isn't bad. I do like the bunk area better. Oh, that is nice. One of the things, one of the compromises we accepted on the seaman was the bunk, climbing up on the bunk. But this, you have to climb in at the foot, so you have to kind of crawl out of your house. Yeah, but that's easier. Look, you got the closing door. That's nice. This is me. I guess that's more good. Look at this view. Put your shoes and socks on. You got the head area. Washing machine. Handsome guy holding the camera. The shower and the workshop. Wow. Who doesn't like this? Plenty of area to get in there and work. Man, that's that's kind of sweet. Is this the um, both refrigerators? The two refrigerators? No, this is the guest quarter because the other bed's over there. This is similar to 1370. Really? If we were looking at the 1370, if the 1370 was a reality, reality for us, meaning we weren't 150th one in line, we could swing the cost, we would be looking at the. <coughs> we would look at the vision 444 because I think these two boats are comparable. Of course, there's not a 1370 splashed yet, so. Look at that. Oh, let's see this bathroom. Oh, look how low that is. That's really odd. Maybe this is for a handicap. Isn't this sexy? Go. We'll be using the next couple of weeks all learn how to work on this. In November, you're going to learn every inch of that motor. Yes. Oh. It's like 
finally got to learn. She's beautiful. I want, I want to lick it. <clears throat> That's disgusting. <laughs> Where's Tony? Very good. Very good. Recognize anybody? I didn't, but I, I don't know. I could have bet somebody. Well, when's our shift? We don't have a shift. <laughs> You're so stupid. Let's go. <laughs> This brings back memories. We had a generator before. We had a. It was a predecessor to Corsair. Mm -hmm. Corsair. Mm -hmm. uh, They were just starting. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're fine. We've been up on this way, but that's here because it's easier. <laughs> six six. I'm yeah. thinking crawling back here is a good one. This would be a pain in the butt going, on, going back and forth there, yeah. you know. This is because this is so good. Does it have to be that good? Yeah, it gives you a leverage. What do you think? That just brings back so many memories. And the interior was very similar. Similarly laid out, although much a little bit bigger. A lot bigger. Probably. Very nostalgic. Yeah. It's beautiful. These fold up too, right? Didn't he say They anything? fold next to each other, yeah. She looks so fast. Yeah. What do you think? You want to rethink anything? No. The accommodations are kind of sparse. They right? are. It's a little tight, but it would be doable. It's kind of hard. I don't like the cockpit in that. That wheel is so big. It's kind of hard to get around. I don't. Yeah, I don't like the cockpit. I don't like either one of the uh, the uh, bunks, which is why we rolled out the, the trimorous to begin with. But my, I didn't think I would feel so nostalgic. I know. Oh my goodness. It was like goodness. stepping home or something. I know. It really is. That's really strange. It just brings so many memories. Yeah. Let's get back like over. It's like a bird of prey or yeah. something. <laughs> let's, let's get back over to the C1 section. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, watch your videos. You don't know us, but. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Good. Sailing with no agenda. Yes. <laughs> yes. Awesome. We have this ordered also. Yes. I like the exhibits in the tents. They let you touch stuff. This is the gory folding propeller that we're getting.
If you're unsure about getting the line cutter option for your prop, check this out. I am definitely getting it after grabbing this thing. You having a good time here? I am. Are you playing with yourself? No, I'm just getting the crumbs off of it. Why make you say that? Because you're all, all fussy down here. <laughs> They're starting to vote. Oh, you like the VIP treatment? They do. Yeah, it's called the, the main cabin in the same level as the salon. That's one of the trademarks of Neil. Huh? Okay, you get the bow bunk in the main hall. I don't have a lot of privacy. Yeah. This one at least has a glass window, but that one over there is very open. This one has a door. This is a nice bunk. Yeah, if you're getting in on that side. So what do you think? I haven't been okay. on the prime rating like this. <clears throat> I mean, it's different because it has these windows. There's not like that bunk over there is basically part of the salon. Salon. Wow! Check this out. It's wild. Uh -huh. so it's a slightly bigger one. Time for a change. Yeah. just the other one. Yeah, right? A lot of the storage is open. There's not a lot of cabinets. There's shelving. All that surface here, you think they get some more solar on it. You have no view of that. You can't see the port bow at all. From I can't here. see when I'm sitting down. I can't see the starboard. Well, if you were sitting down, it's, you know, it's a simulate. Simulate for the audience. It's just, just hold this up where your eyes are. What'd you spend? Nothing. Nothing, huh? No, but I might go get that shirt. You're, you're so sexy when you spend nothing. <laughs> <laughs> We walked through the tents looking at the various exhibits. We were just trying to get ideas. There was some neat stuff there, but nothing that really piqued our interest in this tent. Tony did purchase some nautical jewelry that she liked. Where are we going for dinner? Old Stein Inn in Edgewater. What kind of restaurant is that? It's a German place. Beer garden. Beer garden? I'm in for that. <laughs> it's a uh, good time, is it? Yeah. It's 4.30. It's been a long day. We've been up since 6.30, left the house at 7. And I think we're about ready to leave here in another half hour, right? Yeah. We've seen all to be seen. Pretty much. There's a couple of tents over here we haven't been in. Have we been on all the boats we want to go on? Yeah, we went on a dragonfly. Trimaran, it brought back lots of memories. Um, Nostalgia. It was great. It, it was. It was I almost had a tear in my eye getting back on the trimaran. I, mean, I almost second thought for, for a few seconds there. But. Going down in the hall, and, and it's like, eh, nah. <laughs> it was it was bigger than our um, trimaran, but 
It was laid out very similarly. I didn't like the cockpit, because you couldn't get past the wheel to get around it. I didn't like the cockpit, but it did bring back good memories. Very nice. I like that turn. Get an idea, Tony? Once again, I lost Tony. Anything today. We're going to be, you know, outfitting our boat though. And I like bamboo. So I get bamboo pajamas. Amazing. Yeah. Are we ready to head back? Yes. Five thirty almost. Let's do it. How are you doing? Good. 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 It was a beautiful day. It was a long day. I was glad that we went on some trimarans. It sure brought some memories back to me. But I think, after all the boats we've seen, that the Seaman 1260 fits me and Tony the best. Yes, I agree with Peter. The 1260 is still the boat for us. I still haven't changed my mind, even though we've seen several boats. But I do also have to say that it really was really cool to go on that trimaran. It was a Dragonfly 41? Dragonfly 32. 32. Oh, sorry. And, um, oh my gosh, it brought back so many memories. So, uh, yeah, it really was a good day. It confirmed a lot of things for us. It was a long day. If you're going to go, I recommend you get the VIP tickets because that's really nice. They have a special tent. You can go and get something to drink and some food and sit down for a bit. I got a lot of walking in that day. It was 12,678 steps for me, which was quite a bit. That's not really fair. I got 10,929 steps. But your legs are so much shorter that you're cheating on the steps. I'm so not I cheating. I don't think it should count. I got uh, four. Uh, uh, uh. I got 4.64 miles. How been, many miles did you get? I don't know how many miles. Yes. I win. I win. No, because that's not fair. I've been telling you for years that you have a, a longer stride than me, and so I always have to walk more steps. So I get more exercise. There you go. Uh, let's enjoy our German dinner. <laughs> I made it. It was only a 10 minute walk. It was only a 10 minute walk, Tony. How are you feeling? Okay. Ready? Yeah. Oh, I forgot something. You want to go down you gotta again? You got to go back and get it, not me. <laughs> uh. Dad, does anyone even watch your videos? Yes, I have proof. Windows.